<clears throat> Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about epsilon wave in ECG. So epsilon waves are nothing but it is a small deflection which is buried in the end of the QRS complex. So this epsilon wave is usually seen in patients with arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy or right ventricular dysplasia where what happens is the right ventricle myocardium is replaced by the fatty tissue or fibrous tissue. So this fats and fibrous tissue get deposited uh, inside the myocardium and because of this uh, deposition, some of the myocardial cells gets hidden within this uh, fat tissues and they get delayed activation and leading to delayed uh, wave called as epsilon wave. So they follow after the QRSA, there is some delayed activation of the hidden myocytes uh, within the fatty tissues and that leads to what is called as epsilon wave. It is caused by post excitation of myocytes in the right ventricle. So you can see here epsilon wave in V1 uh, is due to our right ventricular conduction delay. So epsilon waves are the most specific and characteristic finding seen in 50% of the patient. It is the most specific finding as well. And it is basically occurred because of as myocytes are replaced by fat producing islands so viable myocytes in a sea of fat. So this epsilon waves uh, have also been described in patients with posterior myocardial infarction right ventricular infarction, infiltrative disease, sarcoidosis. So other examples of epsilon wave we can see here after the QRS, if there's a small uh, blip, if you can see here, uh, also a small blip here and the another blip here. So these are all the features of what is called as epsilon waves. So hope you have liked this video. If you want more videos like this, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akif Peg. Thank you.